Hey guys, Chris here with a new profile. Uh, it's been almost a half a year, maybe a year, since we've uploaded content, but I topped a win a match, more or less. Um, I don't know what the event was called, but I won a mat, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't a win a mat. Uh, I love DDD, and when the support came out, I was way too hyped to play it, and then during Sneak, I had everything for it, and I lost because I was playing the Synchro build. Like, I hard lost all of my rounds because I was playing the Synchro build, and it hurts. So, I'm playing pure, as you should be, and for this list. Um, I went four rounds, uh, mostly against Based, and I didn't, I didn't have any issues with Based. Based was not a threat. Um, my list isn't all that different from most others, I want to say, but I still want to profile this while I can. So, for the starters, we play three Griffin, three Copper, three Kepler, and three Slime. Um, Griffin, if you control one, uh, a DD, you can summon it, and this starts off most of your combos if you just have any normal summon, really. Mostly level 4. As Pac said, it's a rake 4 spam deck. And I 100% believe that. And I can't not, like, hate on it for that. <laughs> but at the same time, it's really cool to see how, how much the deck's changed. Copper, normal summon, foolish burial is fine. Um, opening him is really good. Like, opening these two is full combo. Uh, Kepler searches for dark contracts and slime lets you fusion summon and also extend because uh, you can banish it to special zone. Um, Kepler's also you can balance your scale if you have uh, f uh, one scale and you can't activate Gilgamesh because it sets two specifically. But that's never come up for me. But it's still a thing that happens. Um, For scale stuff, I'm playing two Orthros, one Rag, one Thomas. Um, I prefer playing two Orthros over the one at the moment. Uh, I do not own the Go DD card, the promo, because it is currently $20 and I'm assuming rising due to popularity in the deck. Um, also, my locals normally is like trap heavy, but it's been very combo focused lately. And uh, Orthros deals with not only like back row decks like Skill Drain or Mystic Mind, especially Mystic Mind. We have one specific Mystic Mind player. Um, it's not good, but it's fine. Um, Ragnarok, although I loved Ragnarok before, uh, Rag is. Uh, I can do with, I can do without. Uh, it's a great scale. And uh, being able to burn yourself to summon Orthros from hand is really cool. But, like, there's a lot of times where I prefer Thomas. And, like, opening either one of these is not a brick. Because if you open either or, um, you can scale the other, uh, pop Orthros off itself, and then scale this one. Thomas, back, Ragnarok. I like that. It's fine. Uh, the rest of, like, the DD one ofs is just... Uh, Necro, Typhon, Lamia. I love Typhon. Typhon's really good because it could go into Genghis. Um, if anything, if you open Typhon Swirl Slime, you can go immediately into Big Genghis. And Big Genghis is shutting off like Imprim, which is really good and really relevant in the format. Um, Necro Slime st uh, starts off for your High, high Wave King Caesar. Um, and then Lamia is just an extender. Um, there are some times where Lamia can get you into, um, Siegfried, but that's like if you have Vice Typhon or if you have, uh, Dark. Um, for the hand traps, oh, the hand traps, three Nib, three Valor, three Ash, and two Ghost Ogre. And that's her, that's her hand trap lineup. I'm not playing the big 12. Um, I'm only playing 11. I cut out one Ghost Ogre for 
the second Orthros because I figured Orthros, uh, because I'm, I'm not playing the Go stuff, uh, having that second Orthros is a lot more important because having a DD name, a normal summon DD name, along with Griffin, is a lot more important. Um, I'd rather be able to have that normal summon and level 4 access than having a brick. Or at least like a, a hand trap and option. Um, all day, I did not brick. And if I like, I had like weird interaction hands, like I bricked off of opening Thomas or like other things, but I could still play. So all day, I did not open too many. Um, if anything, I, game three, again, or no, game two versus uh, my last player based, um, this was my end hand, and then I still had my High Wave King Caesar, my Siegfried, and a uh, Machinex. I, I had these. Um, he went to go up activate uh, the infinite spell for the adventurer package. I just ghost over him after he already spent like two of my interruptions, and he just scooped. Uh, yeah. Uh, for sp the contracts. Uh, three one-on-one, -on -one. um, standard, standard, um, I did lockouts, um, the first bass player, uh, that I went against was one my round three, I locked him out of making Link Monsters, and it was a weird niche interaction, I could have used, I was debating on whether or not I should, uh, use it to add my, my Orthros, but I decided to end on a Gilgamesh and a High Wave King Caesar instead. Uh, I did not make the Machinex, and I was actually really regretting it, but I was still able to pull through. Uh, pull that over. Um, so we play the map package. I don't play Small World because it's like $20, $30. Um, I don't, I don't think I'll play Small World even if, like, I ha uh, had the money for it, or, like, if I pulled it. Um, I think it's really cool, but you have to either play the Arch Phoenix centric and Orthros is basically an Arch Phoenix centric and you also have to play, or, alternatively, you have to play the Phantasme, and I just, I, I don't like it. It's just not something that I'm interested in. Um, that's it for the main deck. For the extra deck, we play two Machinex. Um, best, best card in the extra deck. Uh, consistently being able to make this after, like, getting hand-trapped into Oblivion. If you make Gilgamesh, or, yeah, Gilgamesh, and it gets hand-trapped, you just slap this on top, and then you pass. Or, like, you make something else, and then, like, just having access to an easy one card overlay is insane. Um, we play both King Tell, Caesar. This is standard. Uh, being able to search a dark contract, just like being able to either end on domain or getting an extension, is fantastic for the Machinics. And then King Tell is not a hard once per turn. Not only can you burn them for time, um, and I did that, uh, my game three in time versus, uh, in my, off, oh, I can't think of the player. I just remember he sided in Phantasme for me, but I didn't link summon at all. I just burned him for time. Uh, he played the Zeus and the High, uh, High Wave King, or Wave High. I'll never get that right. Wave High is really good for a not once per turn Solemn. Solemn Warning. And then Zeus is Zeus. Um, okay. We played the two Genghis and then the one High Flame King. Or High Flame High. I can't get their names right. Genghis specifically is really good. Uh, I hate how we're using him now. I don't want to just, like, overlay for him. I, I wish he was, like, more essential to combos like he used to be, but it's fine. Um, 
high flame or flame high, whatever. He is fantastic for going second. Um, shuts down a lot. Specifically, like, Dogmatica Punishment. Uh, any, like, Imperm, especially Imperm. Just, like, going second against um, Edledge. That's that's the deck I was thinking of. Last fusion we play is the Dark. Dark is either Time, and I won his Time because of this, and then um, going into Siegfried, and that's really good. We have a three Gilgamesh. Um, oh my god, Gilgamesh. Not only does it get its effect if it's special summoned, so like if from Grave, from Action Deck, it's fantastic. Um, it's an overlay material, and it just takes two DDs. As, and setting scales, oh my god. It's so good. For the Synchros, we play the one Siegfried, and I don't own Baron, um, and I couldn't borrow Josh's, because uh, he left it at home. So I play the Shooting Riser, because we can send the Token Collector. Uh, this never came up. Um, the only time it does come up is if you're going to make... Uh, is if you open Lamia, or you specifically go into Token Collector, or like, like you need co Token Collector for the matchup. Uh, there's a lot of times where just I didn't feel like I needed the Token Collector at all. Um, I still like, I still play it. I still play the token collector, but like it's just it just sits there. Um, this should be barren. One hundred percent should be barren. But if you don't have it, this is a good option. Same with like the chaos ruler dragon. Uh, that's a decent option. Uh, for my side deck, because I didn't pull it out for some reason. We are playing. Two Chalice, uh, two Triple Tech, one Called, one Dark Contract with Errors, two Token Collector, three Lancia, and a Gamma Package. Uh, this feels standard. Um, I don't own Urn Perms, and I don't own a third Triple Tech. Um, there are times where I felt like this should have been the other Dark Contracts, um, Eternal Darkness, uh, like, at the same time, like, I felt like having Dark Contract with Errors for the Edledge matchup was so beneficial, and also, like, the Mystic Mind matchup, because other than Orthros, like, I'm fine with the Mystic Mind matchup, I just want to get rid of their stuff, I just want to shut them down, at least. Of, um, Lancia underperformed, Gamma, Gamma kind of overperformed for me. Uh, there are times uh, I did open both, but I still had full combo, um, which is, I feel so weird just to, like, have full combo for two cards, but Gamma overperformed, and I, I love this card. Lancia underperformed, um, Based can still play through without having to get uh, to banish their stuff. Uh, token Collector overperformed. Holy. Uh, <clears throat> stopping the uh, Sword Souls cards in the base strategy. Oh, it's so good. Uh, I kind of wish I ran more, but I just, I didn't have the third. And running two is fine. And sending it off this if I needed it was fine. Um, not meaning called by the grave feels weird, but I'm fine with it. Not a lot of people, like, know how to hand trap DD right now. Um, it'll take time, but, eh. Triple tack, kinda, like, eh, it didn't overperform, didn't underperform. I was just there if I saw it. Running two is fine. And then chalice, um, I didn't side chalice in all day. I didn't feel like uh, sighting in Chalice was even worth it. And yeah, I also didn't side Dark Contract uh, with Errors because I didn't uh, play against any Edlich matches or back row matches. And I was really expecting to see them, but like, I just, I didn't. 
By the way, I want to plug this. Uh, shout out to Collecto. Thank you for ordering the boxes. They are beautiful. I love them. Uh, other than that, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the profile, like, comment, subscribe, and all that clickbaity shit. And I'm out.